So my name is Kara Madison. I've been teaching for 12 years. I love it. It's what wakes me up in the morning and I go to bed dreaming about it at night and the lives I'm going to touch and the things I'm going to do the next day and the smiles I'm going to see. I teach third, second, and first grade, so I'm in reading, writing, and math for all those grade levels. So as a special educator, for me, time is of the essence. I'm running around here and there, different grade levels. I need something that is ready to go in my bag of tricks, being able to quickly plan um, and effectively plan in a decent amount of time is priceless. So a teacher needs a very personalized and very customized set of materials and then ongoing support as they deliver it. And that's really what Teacher Advisor uh, provides to the teacher. Teacher Advisor is designed to use Watson Cognitive Computing to be an individual and personalized coach for a teacher. Uh, it starts off being smart. It knows the best lessons. It knows the best teaching strategies. But the more teachers use it, the better it will get at responding to the individual needs of teachers. Well, with all of the 21st century tools that are available for teachers nowadays, it's very important for me to make sure that the curriculum that I'm choosing was developed by teachers for teachers, because then I realize the credibility is actually there for me. It's full of quality lesson plans that you know once you're in there poking around, whatever you choose for whatever standard you're working on, it's going to be effective. We invited in all the key parties to have a workshop where they could see the Watson technology, understand it, and then brainstorm how we could meet the needs of education and educators in the most significant way designed to help individual teachers to be more effective and more effective teaching will lead to more effective learning. You can choose from the variety of activities depending on the students that you see every day so you know very well what they need in order to make gains. It's all right there for you in Teacher Advisor. Please welcome Laura Banta, Director of Citizenship Initiatives and Education at IBM, and AFT President Randy Weingarten. I came at this the long way. <laughs> so um, Laura and I have been uh, working on Teacher Advisor for a bit of time. Uh, what Stan talked about, Stan is from the, is the head of the IBM Foundation, um, was a meeting we had at Roosevelt House um, in New York a couple of years ago, right? That's right. And so let me just say, this is the um, epitome of a public-private partnership, of a big corporation and a teacher's union working together to actually help teachers think about the 4 a.m. in the morning. Um, think about 4 a.m. in the morning. And I'm not talking about all of you who take a plane somewhere and wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning. I'm talking about teachers who wake up with a start at 4 o'clock in the morning. They have a lesson plan. They know their kids. And they're thinking about, how do I customize? What do I do? We started something called Share My Lesson, which now has almost a million users, where they can pull lessons. But the difference between that and Watson, the teacher advisor, is that you can customize your lesson based upon the needs of your kids. And as Stan said in the video, it gets smarter and smarter and smarter the way in by, by more teachers using it, as Kara and Jody were talking about. And Maura will talk a little bit about what the technology is before anybody starts thinking this is Big Brother, what the technology is and what the tool really is and why we're so excited about it. So thank you, Randy, and thank you for having me with you today on stage. My thanks to the Atlantic and the Aspen Institute for organizing such an important forum. It's a real pleasure to be with you. Let me talk about the technology right. first. So Watson is cognitive computing. It's a form of artificial intelligence that depends on natural language processing and machine learning. 
So it's very different than traditional programmable systems. It's actually a system that depends upon information being ingested and it gets smarter with usage. It's a very different engagement with the user. It's kind of a partnership between man and machine or woman and machine to come up with um, the feeding of information and surfacing evidence-based answers. Watson became pretty famous in 2011 when it played the game show Jeopardy, but it's been a lot of places since then. It's working in oncology to help doctors with cancer treatments. It's working in retail. It's working in legal and lots of other fields. We were asked to figure out how we might employ the power of Watson in education, and I represent the IBM Foundation. And so obviously we were interested in doing something in, for free that would make a contribution in the K-12 space. So we assembled thought leaders like Randy Weingarten and other policy subject matter experts and practitioners, teachers, deans of schools of ed, et cetera. And collectively we talked about this and what we were advised is that teacher professional development is an area that could use some help there's not a lot of money to be made there, so maybe this is where we ought to focus Watson. So we did, um, and we started with elementary school mathematics, specifically third grade mathematics. Um, it's, it's very exciting because um, we're already seeing the difference it can make. Randy talked about how you can customize lessons, but we're seeing the excitement in the eyes of teachers who say, gee, you actually developed this for me, and you involve teachers in the development and I have this all in one place, and I can use it for free 24-7. So I'm the driver of this technology. So both Maura and Stan, who you saw in the video, have incredible public school experience. And so when the teachers came to these original meetings and said, this is a powerful tool, but let's not make this mistake that all sorts of other ed tech companies have made. It can't, if, if you say it's about helping teachers, it has to be about helping teachers. It can't be judgmental and it can't be evaluative. And that is the tool that IBM Foundation and IBM has created. And so what it does, and this is why we're so excited about it, if you think about who teachers are, particularly elementary school teachers, they basically are responsible for teaching the whole child everything in a very short period of time. And many of them have 20 to 50 kids in their class. And so the customization becomes really important, particularly these days, they'll go to a colleague and say, okay, Randy doesn't understand fractions. Everybody else in my class does. She is not getting when there's one eighth She's not getting the eighths. Anybody have any ideas about how to help her, help me help her? What happens is you have this tremendous um, bank of ideas that is in the Watson technology. So you not only can talk to an individual teacher or to a mentor or coach, but literally at four o'clock in the morning, you can get a customized lesson of someone who has done that already. And that's why it starts with math in terms of third grade and it's not judgmental, and it's for free, and it's gonna be on a mobile app, and as the teachers in Pawtucket talked, told you about in the video, we're really excited about this. So we cast a big net because it was important to us that we gain the trust of teachers, the ultimate users, our client. We also partnered with Starvos Niarcos Foundation, Carnegie and Ford, because this is a much bigger effort than the AFT and, and the IBM Foundation. Um, and we are destined to take this to other grade levels in mathematics. We will, uh, we will ask teachers and we will ask our advisory committee where we should go next with this technology. Um, it's very exciting, but remember, it's, it's, um, it's exciting because we've had such an iterative process of feedback. There were four basic experiences, as they're called, in the Watson tool, so teachers can go on and look at the standards. It's important you could be an experienced teacher and know the standards well. You could be new to the grade level and not just want to read the standard. You'd actually want to know what it's about. You can come into it either through a numbering system or a concept. You can look at pre and post requisite standards, which is very important as you do this differentiation 
for Randy, who's not getting fractions, and Maura, who's talking trigonometry. Only kidding, Randy. Um, and then you move over to the customization feature, which is very important to be able to pull in what you think will actually help you differentiate your instruction. You can search on simple tasks that might be student-facing activities, like a worksheet or a fluency activity, or you can get some t help with teaching strategies. So we've ingested some videos that are tagged to the content that will surface up some interesting topics like perhaps third grade multiplication mm -hmm. or perhaps how to teach to diverse learners. The tool is going to continue to grow. What's important is that the content has been very seriously curated so teachers won't just go and do this random search. They will trust it as a place that has the very best content, their interest as hard. And more is not wrong. So many of us learn math by memorizing, frac by memorizing equations and trying to apply them as if our brain was a memorization bank. So when you have a tool like this that helps help you figure out how to teach math by thinking it through, which is what we do right now, it's hugely important. And many of us are not, are, 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 are risk averse and don't want to actually show what we don't know. And so having this tool with other mentors is really important. And so I just want to end, I think we, we really want to end, you are the first people other than an article in the New York Times that are getting an introduction to Watson. It is an iterative process. We're very excited about it. But the reason we're excited is because teachers all across the country right now, as you're all sitting here, are in their classrooms trying to figure out how they reach kids and how they help meet the needs of children. And what we are very appreciative in terms of IBM and the IBM Foundation is they're not telling us what to do. They are supporting what we do and the latitude we need to teach. And so thank you very, very much for this process and for what you've done in terms of Watson as a teacher advisor. Thank you for your partnership, Randy. Thank you. Thank you, everybody.